Good morning, everyone. Carol Ponsford here to show you what I am doing with the September 2023 Stencil Club set by Trina Brannon and Mary Beth Shaw. So, Mary Beth Shaw's stencil is this architectural type beam stencil, and I'm not going to do anything with that one right now. What I am going to do with Trina is I went in and I cut all the different parts out. Okay, it comes as one big stencil but I decided I was going to cut this section out, this section, and this section. And then I also cut these sections apart so that I could have some mask if I needed them or just some interesting shapes to add to another project in the future. I immediately saw a body shape when I saw this one. It could be a petal on a flower or whatever you choose but I see it as a body shape and this shape as possibly a headdress and also this shape right here as a headdress. So I did decide I'm going to use my gel plate and I'm also going to use the Daniel Smith acrylic gesso in iridescent gold and I've kind of previewed where I'm going to put my stencils but I'm going to spread the, the gesso on the plate first. My plate was a little dirty, so I did go ahead and clean it with a baby wipe because I had white paint on there and I didn't want that to be on top of the gesso. So I took a baby wipe and cleaned it off. Now I'm going to take some of this gesso and I'm going to brayer it as smooth of a layer as I can possibly get. And then I'm going to lay down my stencil shapes. And now I'm going to take <clears throat> just plain white cardstock and pull the color up. And try to get all the the gesso out from in between all the sections of the stencil. Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry before pulling it with a clear um, matte medium onto black paper. Okay, now I've put some of the golden matte medium onto my gel plate and I'm gonna brayer this out into a thin layer and immediately put some black cardstock onto this and press it really well. I'm gonna set some magazines on top of this until it's completely dry and then I'll make a pull. And in the meantime, I realized I had two heads and only one body. So I took my six by six inch gel plate and did the other pattern, the uh, body shape onto another little gel plate so it could dry and I'm gonna pull that also. All right, let's peel and see what we've got. Now, I don't expect this to be a solid image, which is okay because what I plan to do is go back in with Posca markers and redraw over the lines and maybe even go back in with gold, um, the iridescent gold gesso with a paintbrush and reestablish my lines. But that gives me a starting point. Okay, so I have my basic shapes for my two figures that I want to do. Next, I need faces. So I went to my rubber stamps and I found this stamp by Paula Best um, called Art Face. And this stamp is, I don't have a name on it. Okay. Um, so anyway, I used these two stamps, stamped them on a piece of scrap paper I had laying around that had a little bit of a peach coloring to it and then I'm going to cut them out to be my faces. I left some on the top just because I don't know yet where I want to tuck it in to create the headdress. Okay now I'm ready to start on my background. So what I did, I've got my journal out and I did a test sample because what I want is kind of a black on blackish tone. So what I did on this test piece is I did black gesso and let it dry. Then I took um, a stent, the stencil and paper artsy little black dress. That didn't show up. 
So then I went to my second plan, which was the Master's Touch Payne's Gray Acrylic Paint. And I did that, sponged it through the stencil, and I got the effect I wanted, which is just, you can barely see that pattern in the background. And that's what I'm going to use when I do this in the background behind my figures that I'm going to have with a saying. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the background with black gesso and then let it dry. And then I'll come back when I sponge the paint on after it's dry. The black gesso I'm using is the Dina Wakely Media Black Gesso by Ranger. And I'm going to apply it with a palette knife. I'm just going to smear it on a really thin layer. I don't want it to be real uniform. So that's why I'm choosing this method instead of brushing it on. So I'll start showing you a little bit of how I do it. So now this is all dry. And I'm going to take the large stencil, Mary Beth's stencil. And I'm just going to start applying with my sponge applicator some of these different shapes on top of it. And it's going to give a very subtle look to the finished product. Okay, now I think you can see how I've got the background where it's just a little bit it's very subtle. Once it's dried, it'll even be more subtle because right now the paint is still wet. And next I'll start working on the goddesses. Okay, so now I'm ready to start applying color. I'll go for a little while, let you watch the process, but then I probably will stop and come back after they're finished. Okay, so now I have everything colored the way I want, and I went ahead and took the heads and figured out where I wanted the hat to sit on them, and then I made a slight cut. I used my X-Acto knife and my cutting mat. I made a, a quick slice around, and then they'll just slide on and sit there. And then this one will go together like this. And then I did the same on this one too. I wanted it so that the circle in the center would be right in the middle of her head. So I took and cut that so it would sit like this. And then this piece will slide up underneath and go in like this. So there I have my two goddesses or art dolls and I will be putting those in my journal and I'll be back and show you once I've finished the entire thing after I've glued these down. And what my plan is, is I'm going to glue them on each side, kind of, and then write some type of a quote in the center. And I'll be back to show you what I end up doing. So after I figured out placement, then I glued those down, wrote my quote, and outlined the page in gold Posca marker. I've listed the products I've used above. Join Stencil Club by September 15th to receive these exclusive stencils for yourself. And you'll receive an accompanying video tutorial with a PDF. Both are downloadable. Thank you so much for joining me this month and come back in October to see what I do with the October Stencil Club set. Mm -hmm.